So it's 10 after 8 in the morning. The inside of the motor coach is an absolute disaster because of we spend all day at the show and then we're downloading videos and getting ready for the next day. But to add to the chaos, at 8.10 in the morning, the Newmark crew showed up and stole my toilet because I in fact have a macerator failure, failure that they're taking care of for me. So let's go out and see what these guys did. So here's the emergency crew that came out from Newmar and will work on your equipment. So here's Mark's opportunity to finally clean behind the toilet. You know, I'm thinking next time if we have a problem, we just take the toilet off and it's a little bit more difficult to get it down there, but like a giant funnel. <laughs> and no, I mean, think about it, a funnel that's this big and you sit on the funnel. So once again, mechanical engineering skills come in handy. Look out, hey, here comes the crew. Oh, so this is the gadget here that failed and basically cost me 800 bucks. And should probably have gloves on. This is an electric motor here that drives a steel impeller that's inside. And I believe your deuce or your meatloaf or your business comes through a pipe into this housing here and it gets chopped up by the blade that's shown here. And then it can go out this little pipe because it's all liquefied and it can go to your gray tank, or excuse me, your black tank. Well, what happened in this is this is, this is some type of a cotton rag that's in here and either the previous owners, which I doubt, because I don't think it would have been that long ago, or us, certainly not intentionally, unintentionally either dropped something in there and that could have been a handkerchief or something that is cloth type based. I don't think that's a baby wipe and we're smart enough not to put them in there. Um, you know, not blaming anybody that ever visited us. They just don't get the whole process of going to the bathroom safely for an RV. That's what happens if anything foreign goes down when you have a macerator toilet. This thing has been making noise for quite a while. It's almost amazing that it's it's given up the ghost now because it almost looks like it's just about had it, but uh, it just it's just staying in that circular shape and just can't get out. So there we go. I could clean this up, take that out, <clears throat> and carry it. So I got it next time I need it. When you live in an RV, you have such limited space that anything that you don't have to carry, you don't take along. If I take that macerator along, the next time Sue wants to buy something at a jewelry store or maybe a nice piece <laughs> of clothing, she'll say, I'm buying this, this nice tank top because you're carrying that macerator. And I don't want to get into that argument, so I'm not going to take it. <laughs> Good morning. So here we are. I'm walking back from the rig and I'm on my way to meet Sue, Paul, and Pat, who are patiently waiting. I won the contest today, apparently, in the Newmar group here. I went to pay my bill and they said, how you doing? Hey. <laughs> they said that uh, I apparently 
up until moments ago was winning a contest of the highest bill in the Numar camp, but somebody graciously had some issues with their power cord reel, so they popped ahead of me. So I think I was 972. Um, I actually am thankful that Numar has these techs that were able to do this. For me to get that fixed at, for me to just get the toilet fixed at, you excuse the generator here, how would you like to be next to that generator all night long? We actually got to meet the people that are in this rig here. Really nice folks. They're right here. And they said that their Numar is so quiet that after settling in for a few minutes, you get used to it. But uh, I had my macerator toilet worked on. I had some uh, diagnostics done to my full wall slide. They put a, uh, a new seal on the inside of my full wall slide. Uh, kind of held my hand on a few things, so uh, it was actually a fairly good price for the, the work that I had done. The macerator itself usually is about 350 bucks. If I would have had it done, you know, brought, uh, sent to me via Amazon, and then I'd have to do it myself, so. It is what it is. I'm glad I didn't win the new par high bill contest. I don't know, maybe to give you a free pen or something when you win it, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty stocked up on pens. Okay, let's get to the show and uh, see if we can uh, do a couple of things that we want to look at today. I think Sue and I said that we really want to look at the tiny houses because we're already living in one and someday we're going to need one that doesn't have wheels or an engine or a steering wheel. Come on, come along with us. Let's get going. Uh, Paul, no pressure being on camera for uh, <laughs> oh, YouTube. God. I mean, only, you know, 800,000 views. But, uh, you know, I just talked about the fact that I won the, almost won the high build contest, which is something to be embarrassed about, I admit. Tell us about how much your bill was. Well, I was uh, really a well-behaved customer. <laughs> <laughs> and, and as much as I was, yeah. They uh, just handed me a sheet of paper and said, sir, you don't know anything. Yeah, well, I got news for you. Myself, These are pretty decent guys. <laughs> and and that, part of that is because Paul is such a nice person, <laughs> but he's married to a really nice wife, too. <laughs> yeah, and that I, was the clincher. Yeah, yeah and I'm thinking clincher. some of my problem was Sue's red hair. Yeah. <laughs> that, right. gets, yeah. that gets me in a ton of trouble. Yeah, charge the guy. Yeah. So next time... Before we go to a rally, you gotta shave your head. All right, say goodbye. Last Maybe rally. Wear a wig. Last <laughs> rally, no kidding. It's a little windy today. Hopefully our microphone muff does the trick. Come on in, uh, this particular park bottle here. This is the style we're gonna be looking for when we finally are done RVing. Where, look at how beautiful this porch is here. I didn't notice this until we started oh. here. They have a little uh, set of windows right from the kitchen pass through. Oh my God, this is so nice. This little stool, kind of like a bar feel. Yeah. Uh, enough, enough depth this way that you can have some furniture here. But then if it's a little chilly out, you got your fireplace, of course the TV. Oh my God. Everybody knows I am a big Packers fan. <laughs> Oh, God. Right. So let's let's go inside here. Wow, that that window and bar is awesome. We're shopping for an XRV that doesn't have any wheels and doesn't have an engine. Can help you with that. <laughs> so really a nice open uh, concept here. You can mm -hmm. rearrange your furniture uh, every couple of months and give the place a completely different feel. Very open, love the windows. Sue remarked that uh, she would probably try to order a model like this, possibly with a bathtub. Uh, do they have one? No, they do not, but oh. look at how big this bathroom is. Wow. Yeah. And then here is the bedroom. This is pretty much it's a room of love. all you need. If you buy a place like this in a nice resort, 
that has hot tub, pool, and has an activity room, and has dancing, and all sorts of community things to uh, do. What we've learned pretty quick is people get up in the morning, and in pretty short order, they're already out the door doing things. Yeah. So this is, looks like it's a one bedroom, huh? Yeah, and uh, I would think they're all one bedroom. Maybe they have other ones here that we can discover to see if they have a phony baloney uh, second bedroom, and that would probably be for grandkids. Let's no, 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 that'd be my studio. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's keep checking. Let's keep going. She thinks she's going to find a three bedroom. We're a couple of years older than so we discovered we like this one the best and it's 80,000 we went in ones that were up to 130,000 we don't understand what the mystery is here so we decided to come back in here with the GoPro hopefully we'll capture more with this Love this so, part. So this to, this to me is golden to be able to pass things. Oh my God, that is awesome! And have your party out there. What a great feature! And you know this price here being this good, probably I'm sure you know on the other ones the appliances bumped it up you know, the range hoods and, you know, the, the equipment. Uh, Let's see what's all included. Yeah. Well, this just feels bigger, too, because of the openness plus the windows. Yeah. Can't beat those windows. But this is nice, you know, it's got these valances on here. Oh, huh? yeah. It's really a nice model. Let's see if we can go find the Dutch Star bottle. <laughs> Dutch Star in a bottle. Now that's definitely something that the Chan man needs. Check that post out. Might go up one more time. Yeah. 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 That is the OGM drone right there. We're going to lost Mark again. I think he's somewhere lusting. And he is. Lusting over an engine. What do you think, Mark? I'm just studying up here. Uh, it looks like this is a uh, this is a four travel. I think it said it was a realm. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Realm FS6. But we all know that uh, you know this, there's plenty of dough that you pay when you go to something like this one. I mean, everywhere you look, you see quality on this thing. Yeah. Um, you know, from from the positive latching mechanism here, when you close this, which goes on these adjustable bolt mechanisms. You look at these hinges, you know, nothing is uh, Mickey Mouse here. It looks like this panel here, with undoing some thumb screws, it looks like this panel tilts out and then you can pick it off. Whoa. If you come over here, you look at how open this is to work on. Oh, wow. I mean, I cannot stick my hand in my engine compartment like this and work on it. And, you know, I, I kind of said one time, I said, you know, that somebody that can afford this level of equipment probably doesn't work on it himself. And that's not, not necessarily true. You know, there's a lot of guys that their whole life they've been working on equipment like this and it's just a joy to be able to work on it the easy way rather than the hard way. I would never work on it because I'm too inflexible to, to get anywhere on this. But this is a, really a treat. You can see here, I don't know if this is standard on this. We don't know oh, anything yeah. about the four Notice travel. Right away. But yeah, it's a, a pressurized uh, fire uh, system. You can see up here, Sue, these uh, nozzles and this piping here. That's all this stuff. Uh, fire uh, detection type equipment, so very important uh, safety feature. Nice. Right over here, anybody that's watched my channel for a while knows that I've had my share of slide problems. 
Yep. Look at these slides. Wow. <laughs> I'm telling you. Jeez. Look at it. Perfectly smooth. Look at the perfect fit here. Oh, it's all enclosed. It's all enclosed. Wow. It goes in simply by levitation and magic. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, and it's got that uh, fire escape door that Mark totally lusts over. Wow, that is amazing, wow. those slides. Look at, look at the fit here. Really nice. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well, he says. So once again, you can do your own calculations. Here's the list price. Here's the show price. See what the percentage ends up being. This is way better, I think, than the uh, some of the upper level ones that we've been into this. You like day. the design more? I, I love, you know, what, beautiful dashboard. Look at how really nice. This leather's got a really nice feel. I like the light cabinetry. Oh yeah. This is kind of different where, I mean, many times you'll see the couch have an L arrangement, but this is actually the kind of a Euro booth that's also got this bump out. So oh. I, I am sure, I'm sure that actually this probably doesn't bump out, this bumps, bumps in. Bumps in, yeah. Yeah, in other words, it's already bumped out. Mm -hmm. These must go somewhere, and this must go in when you compact them. Yeah, more, but more look seating at, capacity. Look at, this is the driver's, I mean, excuse me, this is the passenger seat that flips around, but it looks like a piece of furniture. It's so classy, Yeah, you know, uh -huh. with the sides here and the uh, part that comes out. Wow. wow. And, and plus, it really comes into the theater here. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of theater, look at what you got behind you. I'm checking out that kitchen. I'm checking out the coffee maker. It's like, what? Here. Right there? Anytime you need it, it's right here. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. Is that nice? Saves you counter space. Yeah. Cool. It's got nice counter space. Cabinet. You know what? Nice. This is unusual too. Rather than putting them widthwise and wasting oh. all of the space, they said, yeah. let's take the depth. That, that was good thinking. Wow. Really. Uh, it's amazing that they're the only one that's doing that. Yeah. Um, this uh, separated area back here is good because what Sue and I have discovered is that when we use our sink, we end up unintentionally splashing water here. Yeah. <clears throat> and your coach is very oh. rarely level yeah. perfectly. So the water always ends up gravitating back underneath all of our stationary equipment and then we constantly have to move it and clean it whereas this got it right there the water would be in front of you right here and you can you can take care of the issue right away it's nice what's in here yes yes i'm right here out here. Oh. Wow, you can have a whole group in there. Seat, sprayer here, nozzle, nozzle here. I would demonstrate it, but I get kicked out of YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Even with my clothes on. <laughs> it's one thing to, like Numar always has you looking at this door behind your bath, behind your toilet. Yeah, the toilet, yeah. They said, they made the decision that somehow when it's a, a burning fire, that you'll be able to get rid of this enough to get through here. Now, I was a mechanical engineer. If I was designing it, I would have made this yeah, so, that, a, you so that it would up, come out and just and drop out. it and get mm -hmm. it to get out. I mean, that that does not come out? Well, then it's not too handy. Well, that yeah, goes. yeah. Say so if it's on fire, it would slow me down. You, you know, good yeah. point, yeah. <laughs> Mark playing again. 
I've got a plan. We're going to find out who's going to buy this, and I'm going to tell them I'll buy it from them in 20 years. In 20 years. Good good yep. plan. I, I love this. He's still going to be around. I love how this, uh -huh. how grand this is. It looks so grand. Mark, what are you doing? Not done. <laughs> I just crashed the party at the AIM, the AIM, the All-Inclusive Motorhome Club. They welcome everybody to come for a dinner and entertainment like they're going to have here with the band. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Sue, it costs $35 a year to be uh, a member of the AIM Club. Awesome. We are so signing up. But you're gonna have to wait until I'm done eating my food because I'm pretty hungry.